I think I Gavin know. is the best redneck online. Uh, she was up front. I was sitting behind her. It was good. Yeah. It was one of the bigger three wheelers. It was one of the kid ones. Oh, no. So. You needed a big red that night. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, crashing never hurt anybody. It's, it's coming to a dead stop that hurts you. You got arrested at your own wedding? <laughs> That's, That's a party. Shout out to Harry's for sponsoring today's podcast. Whether you let your beard grow, keep it cleaned up like mine, or going for something a little more funky like our buddy Gavin did today, if you're going to shave, use Harry's. I used to use disposable razors, but I threw that junk in the trash after using Harry's. Blades get everything the first time through, and most importantly, they don't irritate my skin. So get your best shave ever this summer with Harry's razors and skincare products. Get a $13 starter set for just 3 bucks at harrys.com slash wide open. That's harrys.com slash wide open for a $3 starter set. Thanks, Harrys. <laughs> <laughs> that Damn, statement was just redacted, but we're coming back in now. With... Damn, Gav, you came in firing, dude. I just got to say what's up. Well, welcome back to the Life I Don't Podcast. We got our buddy Gav in town. He's up riding three-wheelers. You may know him online as Shred80. Also, our favorite 80s three-wheeler guy. He's a redneck. We're here. Uh, a redneck, yep. He's a redneck. He's a proud redneck. And That's I think quite possibly one of the best rednecks. Really? I think I Gavin is the best redneck online. Like, if you're looking for redneck content, if you're a redneck and you want to watch redneck content, there's no better place to go than watch Gavin's channel. Thanks, CJ. Because really Gavin lives the life of a true redneck. He walks the walk, talks the talk, and... Uh, and yeah. has a mustache. And he has a mustache. <laughs> Got so. the handlebar. The whole Kogan, baby. Yeah, Gav, you are a good redneck. Thank you. I appreciate that. Proper. I feel like you don't get enough credit for that. Just trying to stay true to my roots. He's humble, though. He doesn't need to, like, run around and, you know, talk about how big of a redneck he is. He just is one. Less yeah. spoken is better, you know? Yeah, less is more. You just more. live. Exactly. You just live that way. Just do your thing. What do you think is, like, one of the most redneck tendencies about you? Oof. He's drinking Besides a Mountain Dew right Besides, you're now. drinking a Mountain Dew. You have a Hulk Hogan handlebars and a mullet. Probably just... Seeing me, I wish I could have a camera on my face every time I go out and start the Cummins up every morning. <laughs> yeah. I was really? going to say, I'd say that's smile. one of your oh, more redneck. Oh, gosh. Oh, yeah. Walk around, take a whiff of that diesel. Hell yeah. of a day. <laughs> yeah, <have you laughs> ever... What is it? Gen, it's Gen 1, right? First Gen. Oh, yeah. 12 valve. First why Gen. Why didn't you guys drive that down here? Yeah, she needed an oil change. I haven't gotten one since last year. And Do you think it would make it? She's Close. not going to not make it anywhere. Yeah. Really? Yeah, 100%. How, how many miles are on it? Oh, probably half a million. Is really? that it? Yeah. And, and you're, awesome. you're as confident. Oh, but injector goes, I'll be able to throw, it in the, throw, a, throw a new injector in, in the lot. See, that's something redneck about you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Throw a new injector in that bitch? Oh, it's, it's fantastic. Well, it's a 12 valve. It's all mechanical. It's so simple. Mm -hmm. So anywhere in the world, right there. That surely isn't the original motor, though. Like It's had oh, to be no, rebuilt. That, no, that's the, that's the original 12 valve right there. It has 500,000 miles on it. It stopped counting about 10 years ago, the farmer said. <laughs> and so we don't know exactly, but it stopped around 250. So it's probably really? around half a mil. Wow. Yeah. Did you? Holy crap. Dude. Yeah. That's crazy. That's crazy. Oh, yeah. And yeah. it's just. Bought it for five grand. I put probably a hundred bucks into it total so far. Haven't replaced the tires yet. Has it ever temporarily <laughs> let you down? Like oh, a, like the free. Yeah, yeah. I got negative 32 in Gunny and. The fuel froze up. So you had to ride That'll the three-wheeler to school. I rode the three-wheeler to school, yeah. exactly. And was that tough, bringing a heavy home from the bar that night? Well, dude, no, not too bad. I wish I had the hog, but she was up front. <laughs> I was sitting behind her. It was good. <laughs> she was up front. Yeah. It was one of the bigger three-wheelers. It wasn't one of the kid ones. Oh, no, no. you needed a big red that night. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I actually kind of have a funny story on uh, the high-mileage vehicles. So I once had an English teacher in high school, and he was in a Chevy commercial because his Silverado – had a million miles on it. What? And they had him come and be in it. Uh -huh. but, uh, How many did, years does it take you to... Well, so this guy, he bought it with like freaking 900000 on it oh, and then drove it. Yeah, I thought oh, that was kind of fun. I thought that was kind of kind of lame. But but uh, yeah, he got on the commercial because he had a million miles on his Chevy and was like the star of the commercial. Yeah, Ten I years ago. it was going to be like a Honda. Not, not to give you a plug. But for, Civics or whatever. But yeah. like Honda Civics, I feel like, are notorious for going crazy, crazy. mileage. Dude, every, the guy that put like the 900,000 miles on that thing Is has been, watched that video no. and just been heartbroken. Yeah, he had to been so pissed, dude. I'd been like, what? the frick i don't think i'd get rid if i put nine yeah what's 000, it even worth the guy man? must have died no, and then yeah. they got rid of it or something like you'd have to hit a million yourself you got that close a lot of miles. you think you've driven a million miles in your life oh 100 no 
You don't think so? No. I mean, that's yeah. a lo- that's a I, long ways. I've been in a car have. for a million. Yeah, you're probably right. I mean, being a kid and stuff yeah. like that. I'm trying to think. So my first car, let's say a hundred thousand, and then the Jeep, another thirty. Yeah, I mean, I probably only have like half a million. What do you guys think the best truck ever is? You guys Silver have done Rudy. the testing. What is it? Gen one, twelve valve. Damn right, Benny. <laughs> <laughs> no, Ford Ranger, obviously. Oh, wait, Silver Rudy, half time. Gav, have you ever seen that video of the wedding uh, where they're pulling in on the motorcycles yes. and then he tries to come in fast and he wheelies over backwards? <laughs> so bad. At your hypothetical wedding right now, if you were going to plan out a wedding, what what would like your staples you have to have at your wedding? Dude, I definitely want Evan coming in Mach 1. Looking <laughs> <laughs> out a dirt bike. <laughs> No, but uh, definitely some redneck activities. I have to have a three wheeler there. I mean, do you think that you'd be getting three-wheeler. married to a three wheeler? <laughs> Chill on that. No, unless it was big red or something. But <laughs> see, the cake is just a life size one ten Christmas edition. <laughs> the little uh, mannequins on the top of the cake, like you're sitting on a three wheeler, doing a little wheelie. Yeah, twelve o'clock. No, but just some redneck activities for sure. So that guy, uh, that it was his wedding. His name is Troy. Oh, no, the so guy he, that went famous on Barstool for his wedding, um, the motorcycle crash. He happened. wasn't the guy that crashed. It wasn't the guy getting married, was it? No, it was like his uh, his friend at the okay. wedding that was pulling in. So he actually reached out to us. Oh, no. He said he's had the podcast sent to him a million times. His watch. Wow, we should have had him on. I know. So he, I, I asked him to just kind of text me the story over Instagram. His first message to me was, LOL, that was my wedding in the Harley that looped out. <laughs> The property owner and myself got arrested that night. Everyone is good, and the wife loved every minute of it. I can send you pics and behind-the-scenes content if you'd like. And I was like, you got arrested at your own wedding? That's freaking crazy, man. That's That's a party. That's That's a party. To to think that the loop-out was like the second most legendary (laughs) thing that happened in that night. There's a... Quite the story and quite a bit to talk about about that, that wedding. No, this is a redneck wedding. And yeah, exactly. The bride wasn't upset. No, she that's a wedding it, people be pissed to miss. Straight up, <laughs> that's what I'm most saying. of the time you're like, ah, I don't really care. I don't even really want to go. But that one, you'd be like, God damn, <laughs> I missed that. Should have went. So he said he had about twenty six k into the wedding after lawyer fees. What was the lawyer problems for? And then he also says it would not change a single thing if I had to do it over. We are wild group. Wild and reckless group of friends that like to have fun. So the lawyer came in because we got arrested for loud noise at about 2 a.m. And the cops came out for a third time and they were arresting his good buddy who was the property owner. And he said he's not letting his buddy go to jail on his wedding day without him. Oh, (laughs) damn, what a guy. He's like, I'm going down with the ship. So he said I had to go in too. And uh, my drunk dumbass got taken to jail we went saturday night and got out on tuesday night <laughs> holy shit <laughs> yeah yo his what wa- yeah <laughs> that was a honeymoon, honeymoon. <laughs> his wife joke. came and visited him hand up on the glass <laughs> honey this is perfect <laughs> <laughs> so he said the fire department had to come out earlier in the night because there was a huge fire that was so big people like thought the barn or a field was burning down so their sound system had eight 18 inch subwoofers that was heard through the neighborhood and the barn was on 27 acres he says Man. i'll send you some vids love your show holy shit Does well he do, he listens to it or he just got it i think he got it sent to us to it but he'd uh heard of the channel and stuff wow, like that which that's is pretty awesome cool. hey i kind of just want to go party with this guy <laughs> Yeah, these guys know how to party, dude. Oh, shit. They're... I wonder if his wife was pissed that he went to jail or if she was just oh, no, like... there's the wedding pics. Wow. Yeah, so good. Uh, here is, I believe, the fire department coming in. They're spraying oh, they got the hose. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the fire looks under control to me, honestly. But I can see, you know, nosy, nosy neighbor, maybe. Uh, ripping heaters, classic. My favorite part is they're out here doing burnouts in the motorcycle. Everybody's in their suits. Like, this is wedding day activity. Oh, yeah. This is what I would imagine your wedding to be like, Evan. I wouldn't want it any other way. Dude, they're <laughs> getting it. They're like, it's yeah, a great time, dude. This kind of got me fired up to get married. Yeah. Shit. Here's their picture with the truck. They look great. They look fantastic. Got the truck all shined up. Got on some aftermarket oh. wheels. No! Is oh, that no. Mike? Oh, no! <laughs> like wow, is that edited? Look at that. that Wait, is, is this beautiful. Is that real? Yeah. <laughs> That's the picture Dude, of Dude, they're fucking in. Look at this in, in there. <laughs> Putting that bike down. 
Was, was that hard. girl was, okay too? Uh, it sounded like everybody was okay. Here's him coming into the venue, ripping a heater in his truck. You gotta. Dude, uh, it looks like they were really just setting up to loop a freaking dirt or lo- loop a bike in the middle of the wedding. <laughs> All I responded was, you guys fucking rock a wedding to remember. So I'm, I'll see if we can get his mug shot. That'd be pretty legendary. But talk about a wedding. We talk about boring weddings, but that one is fun. And that's how I'd imagine your wedding to be, Gav. Yeah, gosh, that's the only way to do it, fellas. You'd be out there on the farm. You'd have the first gen all fired up. Yeah, Gav, we... If, if we were in the wedding, you would almost have to send us in on three wheelers. Oh, 100%. One by one. You got enough, dude. <laughs> Hell of a time coming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just got to get married. Or you just got to find a girl first. Gosh. We'll get there. That's uh, I, I Speaking of weddings, I just saw that a woman sp- saved up like her an entire life and then didn't end up finding a man. So she just married herself, which I didn't even know was legal. Really? What does that even look like? Did she just have That's like just she, a just tax threw a, she just threw a party <laughs> for herself? <laughs> like, <laughs> like you know, has the government looked into this? That's like a that's like a statement. Like I don't need nobody else. I got myself. Yeah. I love myself. The hell, that's I'm what I'm sure she was going for. You know, and if she saved yeah, up all the, the money and she hit a point, she's like, screw it, we're throwing a party. What's the point? Yeah, well, I mean, probably just the <laughs> excuse to have a party. It's like a friend's giving. I bet you, know? you probably aren't. You party. don't have friends to have a party for marrying yourself. Well, well Gav, you don't know. Gav, she might have friends. It might not be guys that want to marry her, but she might have friends. Are you just bummed you missed out? That's <laughs> could have been her. That's poor girl. Yeah. I was uh, scrolling Instagram the other day, mm-hmm. and I came across this kid's video that said, um, if I get 200,000 followers, uh, whatever the top comment is, I will do Yes. on this video. <laughs> oh, right? my. <laughs> so it's like, I don't know how old the kid is. He's probably 14, right? Kind of a chubby little kid. And uh, <laughs> like, look at him. Look at him back here. Reed. Oh, Reed yeah. Harrington, Reed. dude. He's a legend Shout on out Reed now. Yeah, so obviously this kid, um, you know, makes this post. And just like any good social trend, it just spreads like wildfire. <laughs> and so the top comment, which has uh, just shy of 2.1 million likes. <laughs> it's set a wow. record. It's set a record on Instagram for most like comment. <laughs> no way. The comment is... Fly to a small town in Thailand, get accepted by their people, learn the language, train in Muay Thai for a year and a half, fight in tournaments, win the tournaments, return to the USA and join the UFC, stay in shape, go undefeated in your weight class, retire and do an interview saying this comment was the reason you fought. (laughs) (laughs) Yo, that'd be amazing. You know, this kid is like, shit, (laughs) damn. (laughs) I actually have to do this. Yeah. Yeah. He posts every day. He does this like squat challenge or he'll like run five miles barefoot around his driveway. He's got it. But he's not. In Why is he not in Thailand? It might have something to do with him being 12 and living in a trailer house. You know, well, let's get a GoFundMe for this guy. Yeah. I mean, you think the Internet could probably come through. Send him to Thailand, man. Make his dreams happen. That's what every comment is. It's like, why are you not in Thailand? Get to Thailand. <laughs> yeah, it's the people's <laughs> dreams. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely not his dream. It's the people's dream. Gab, I think that you should do this. Do I what? think that you should make a post and say, like, whatever the top comment is, I will do. I'll freaking do it. I know you will. Yeah. But that that could be dangerous for him. Let's it do could. it. No, I think you should. Next Instagram post, I'll do it. All right. Yeah. Okay. What should I say? That exactly well, that's that. A, that. Oh, I guess I don't you get leave to choose. You leave it up to the Yeah, you don't. You don't yeah. get to choose. Okay. All right. Uh, so I'm already thinking of what I'm going to write in the <laughs> comment section. Well, tell, me, you? tell me what you're going to write. No. Out. I'm still cooking. Okay. Oh, man. <laughs> he's thinking. He doesn't have he's anything thinking yet, but he's it. thinking. Yeah, he's thinking of it. Yeah, that's, kind of, that's really opening yourself up. But I guess if you're trying to get some ideas, some idea, you'll definitely get some ideas. Dude, that kid basically got his full life plan written to him. <laughs> yeah, dude. He doesn't have to yeah. think about much. He just has to go and do it. Yeah. Right? Dude, yeah. 15 years, say. We're sitting at this podcast still, <laughs> same position. Gav is still looking for a wife. Oh, oh. no, I didn't mean that like that. Uh-huh. Damn it! <laughs> looking, looking for his third wife at this point. Yeah, looking for his third <laughs> wife, and that news comes across. That what a legendary moment that'll be. Hey guys, today's episode is sponsored by NordVPN. You may have heard about using VPNs for many reasons, but I recently became much more aware of the true dangers and ways that hackers can get your information. Whether it be password attacks, phishing malware, ransomware, or something new that I just learned about, which is called malvertising. Basically, if you click on an ad, that might read something like Gavin's secret to picking up women from the 80s. And just by clicking on that ad and opening the website, you'll give the hackers the information they need to attack your device and steal your information. So that's why it's 
it's important to use NordVPN to protect yourself against numerous forms of cybersecurity threats. Wi-Fi networks, especially free public Wi-Fi, can be compromised by criminals to intercept your data. The bad guys quietly insert themselves between you and your destination, which lets them spy on your data and even alter it. VPNs create an encrypted tunnel for your data, protect your online identity by hiding your IP address, and allow you to use public Wi-Fi hotspots safely. This all sounds bad and scary, but not to worry because we've got an exclusive offer for you. Grab the NordVPN deal at https slash NordVPN vpn.com slash wide open and get extra subscription time try it risk-free now with a 30-day money-back guarantee thanks to nordvpn for sponsoring our show i'm glad that i have a beard and a huge compliment to me is when people say that my beard looks good so harry's is huge for my routine no matter why you shave harry's has you covered for the best shave of your life at a price you'll love harry's gives you guys a premium shave without the premium price tag plus you never have to worry about running out of razors because harry's will deliver straight to your guys's door I was always a disposable razor guy. I thought that it was easy and simple and most importantly cheap, but after upgrading to Harry's, I will never go back. I like that the blades cut close the first time and the shaving cream is made for sensitive skin and has eliminated the razor burn for me. And compared to what I was spending before, Harry's is a tiny, tiny increase for a way better result. The starter set is a $13 value for just three bucks at harrys.com slash wide open. It includes a five blade German engineered razor, a weighted handle, foaming shave gel, and a travel cover as well. Get your best shave ever this summer with Harry's razors and skin care products. Get a $13 starter set for just $3 at harrys.com slash wide open. That's harrys.com slash wide open for a $3 starter set. I got that clip that I don't even know if we can run, but I can airdrop it to Ryan. What but clip? I ran into this kid, and we were talking about the area. He goes to Wii Fest every year. Uh -huh. He's like, oh, my God, I have a epic video to show you. Okay, I'm interested. This is a pretty bizarre situation. Apparently, this, <laughs> I saw the screen already. This, this uh, girl was pissed off at her boyfriend. Okay. And this video is uh, the result. Oh, my goodness. Oh, we, we might not be able to... No, I don't think it's... View. You want to talk to us about what you're seeing, Ryan? Yeah, just, just play Put it. Put it on the screen. It, I got to see this. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> the starting girl's <laughs> face to me says it all. It really does. Oh? So she's taking a shit in her boyfriend's cooler. In the cooler? <laughs> Check this out. Can you imagine going for a cold bush light and grabbing whatever she's leaving in there? Dude, this is not okay. <laughs> Man, she's kind of... Really got a dump truck on her. So like I've never. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my, oh my gosh. gosh. The no wipe. wipe. The no wipe. No, did you hear? <laughs> you buddy yells, wipe your ass. Wow. Oh, hold on now. So I've I've never. So you just met a random guy and he goes, hey, watch. I this. think that you'll yeah. get a good kick out of this video and he just showed you that video we're talking or what's the, about what's the context Fest of this? and that he's like seeing all you guys there mm -hmm. and asking me i'm like nope i don't go to we fest nothing there for me <laughs> yeah i was really and expecting... then i see this i'm like exactly why i don't want to go there i don't know why you guys are going there if this is what's happening there is some <laughs> real debauchery out in the campgrounds you would have loved that evan being there and seeing that firsthand you'd been chuckling showing that vid to everyone just like you did right now i don't even know if you call that redneck man i don't know what that was that's white trash that that's white that's trash. white trash redneck is a culture that and was like uh, has rules you're right you're right have you experienced anything like that nothing like that lady, you, you pissed her off maybe she took a shit in your no cooler. nothing no in nothing too close to that man i've gotten a couple cappuccinos maybe tossed at me but nothing too bad <laughs> Crappuccinos. Okay. That's a hell of a lady, dude. Most girls don't want don't want you even knowing they poop, but she just dropped trow and in the cool shit in the cooler up on the back of the truck bed. And there's nothing more important at a music festival than the cooler. Yeah, that is sacred. So. Yeah, you got to make that last like for three days. Yeah. Hopefully that was like a third day at least. Oh man, and to run that she in front shit of right a lot on of people. There, man. Yeah, she had no remorse, man. That's yeah. crazy. I was thinking you were gonna show us some video of one of like us walking around. Being, dumb. Being a fool. <laughs> I was really I was thinking we were going to see that. something. Yeah. Yeah. That was, I knew it wasn't that was me, a relief. but it was a relief to I'm see that there wasn't a video of Ken doing something, you know, any chick shit in your bed. No, I've had buddies pull pranks on me, though. The stinky fish prank got me for about a week. I was like, what's going on? Finally stinky fish? I got some raw fish cooking in my bed. Oh, they put it in your bed? bed? Like they tucked it under. And you were rolling around? I was rolling around with a, like a week and just kept How did you not dude, find like, that, bro? What was going on? <laughs> so I was, I 
Well, Wait. I thought it was in my trunk, so I kept looking through my trunk. It was oh. just in my bed. <laughs> what? Oh, the bed of your pickup truck. Oh, bro. Oh, bro. Oh, bro. Oh, bro. Oh, bro. I thought you were sleeping no, in your no, room. No. No. I'm like, yeah. you didn't think after yeah. an hour of that to look no. around and find no, it? No, it must be in the mattress. <laughs> Nothing happened about it. <laughs> Good lord. No, yeah, truck bed. That's, that's funny. Okay. Yeah. You can see where we would be yeah, confused. No, yeah, 100%. Yeah, me and CJ's good buddy. Uh, Matt, used to, he was yeah. notorious for shitting everywhere. Yeah, like one yeah. time he climbed up in a tree and he pooped in On like the, the like Y of the tree. tree. It was pretty impressive. Um, wow. One Very. time he like just dropped trout in the middle of the road and he and he uh, right in the middle dumped in the middle of the road and then there was like cars coming each way and we're like Matt 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 and like Pulled right before when we left. right before the cars were like coming and he was like running off with like his <laughs> pants at his Dyson. ankles laughing and then one time. Oh, he pooped in saran wrap and then threw it off the roof at oh. his brother. Yeah, it's crazy, man. <laughs> and then, and then I think, I think oh the most God. savage one was he pooped on a plate and then put it underneath his yeah. brother's bed. That one, was like his crazy, his man. sleeping bed. Oh, that one no, was crazy. That's not good. And it was under there for like a couple days. That's funny ass prank though. <sighs> that's funny. Room smell like shit. You're like, the room smells like shit, but surely there's not poop in here. Nope, there is. Underneath your bed. <laughs> nope. There is. Underneath your bed, there's a, I mean, a plate of poop. Oh, that's not cool. Yeah, man. Yeah, it was some savage shit back then. Literally. Savage behavior. And Ben and I are just running around <laughs> just laughing like we thought it was so funny. How old were you guys then? I think I was probably in the sixth or seventh grade. Shitting all over everything. I mean, I wasn't I mean, shitting. I was, was I mean, I was yeah, yeah. right next to him as he was pooping. Just I was, instigating. I was, <laughs> I was probably, I mean, I definitely was encouraging it because it was hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, who's going to stop you? Who's going to stop their friend from putting a plate of poop under their brother's, brother's bed, bed? You know? It's a pretty harmless prank. Hilarious. Yeah. I just remember you telling me about the poop dollar. Yeah, that I didn't get. I wasn't down with that. But well, uh, in me. high school, it wasn't my group of friends, but it was another group of friends that we'd sometimes hang with. Like their Friday night consisted of poop dollaring, they'd call it. <laughs> so, <laughs> what a poop dollar is? Yeah, bro. That. I mean, this. I don't. I don't think it's cool. <laughs> I don't. I don't think anyone should do this. But basically, they this one kid would shit on the dollar. Oh my goodness! Like he'd go into Walmart, take a shit on this like dollar bill, but then walk out with it with a turd in there or do shit on it. <laughs> and then you drop it in front of the entrance. <laughs> and then you'd oh sit in your car God. and watch people come by and be oh, dollar, pick it up, shit on their hand. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, oh. it was fucking, that it was is. funny, but also not, you know? Well, yeah, it's probably funny when you're like 14. Oh, uh, well, we were in high school. So <laughs> there, was but, one, uh, there was one. I, I was only with for a couple of those. Oh, this one kid just really loved it. He had like, the like he was ability. about it, man. Where's he at? Today? Who was it? It's a normal Going guy. About life. I don't know exactly what he does, chuckles. but I mean, he wears like a suit and shit to to so he's work. He's got like a suit job. But yeah, he he's married. Just got married. Wow. Maybe he discreetly does it. Like he's no. Still doing, you think? No. Yeah, he still got it in him. No, I had another friend from that group. That group was like they were all about the pranks. Really? And I'd sometimes, you know, sometimes you'd be with them, so you do it. But they had this one dude. Ironically enough, he had a Hummer. Oh. He drove a Hummer, so they called him Hummer. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it was just a random-ass dude. They dang-dong ditch his house, and he fucking freaked out. But they dang-dong ditch his house for, like, <laughs> over a year. <laughs> no, oh my Every gosh. day for over a year. Every day. Oh yeah, like, gosh. it was, like, a big hit, man. Like, they would, like, they were coming, like, they'd attack <laughs> it from all these different angles. And this guy, he was such a psycho, and he'd freak out. Classic Hummer driver. After yeah. a year of being... Yeah, yeah. Ditched. But obviously, he was fueling the fire doing that. Surprise, yeah. that guy didn't get security at his house. Well, I'll tell you how the story unfolds. So anyways, <laughs> they were doing that for so long. But this guy would, like, give such a reaction. Like, he fucking had, like, paintball guns. Like, he oh. would... Like, it was like... You make a game they, of it. You know, like, they played it so good. Like, it was like, you never know when they're going to ding-dong ditch. So, like, he'd be on guard sometimes. And, like, he fucking, like, shot someone with paintball guns. Like, he would chase after them. Like... Well, anyways, the police got involved. Like, talk oh, about no. ding dong ditching to the extreme. I remember him telling me the story. So, like, the police get involved. They basically get busted by the police for ding dong ditching, and they had to like sit down with his parents and like the people. Ooh, and this guy jail. had a record of every time he got ding dong ditched. It like his dad, you know, is showing up. He's like, "Wow, this is ridiculous. Like, we're meeting with this person because yeah. he, my son's ding dong ditched their house." 
he pulls out the book and he goes, they open it with like, uh, we have on record 452 <laughs> ding dong. And his dad, I guess, just turned and looked at him like, <laughs> like well, are you, are you serious? Like it was a big thing, man. But yeah, these kids loved pranking, man. They were crazy. So the dad of the, the dinger. Evan, what's the best you've been pranked? Uh, probably the kidnap or the, the stolen uh, truck. The probably. Stolen, truck. stolen truck. Yeah, yeah. I wish we would have kept that yeah. going. We should have left it for like a couple weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Evan just has no vehicle. The stolen truck was legendary and extremely well executed. But I think we will never be able to top. No, we will. We will. Gavin. I hope you guys can somehow. But please don't to me. The only way that will top still it has PTSD, I guess. Yeah, that was, that oh, no. So, any, anytime so I hear a door slam. Savage. Anytime I hear a door slam, I don't want to be there. That. Bro, yeah, just that, really that, that look on the guy's face that we, the actor we hired, the way he closed it was so cold. Like, it just was like he does this all the time. Just boom. <laughs> it felt so <laughs> real. Like, he'd boom, done this lock. before. He it was knew just, what. Yeah, it was like. He a, was so friendly. And then as soon as you're in the back of that thing and you weren't going to have enough time to get there, it was just like. Uh, boom it was like a practice procedure man he was ready to go and i was gone oh. man i'm sorry about that again gab yeah boom do you boom, think we should have like carried that on any longer do you think no, we should have no, like, that was the perfect amount of time because i might have started to cry if it was a little bit do you longer think so I I then it wouldn't have been funny that would have been too far ryan just about got socked when you got out of it I i'm gone so for glad one. you didn't do yeah dude you. what i saw was you guys like the second it opened i was like no. there was what a relief. were you yeah, getting you looked more like <laughs> so so scared. He was like Dolly just comes flying. Up. Yeah, dude, yeah. I'm so surprised. I don't know. I was not thinking of that when it opened, but it could have. I could have for sure gotten a Dolly to the face. Any of you guys could have. Yeah. Yeah. Like I'm surprised you didn't have that motherfucker and start swinging. I put I put her away after I realized I was pretty hopeless. But I mean, even when the door opened, you didn't fight was, back very I well. Thought, well. I was gonna tackle, and then I. I thought there was going to be guns at my face. Mm. Yep, yeah, see, so you didn't want to have the dolly because you brought a dolly to a gunfight. Would you yep. have froze up if they had guns and just did what they said, or would you have just went for it? I had no clue <laughs> what was going to happen. No, I mean, I, if they had guns. Oh, if they had guns, I was probably going to go for it. I was going to go out, blaze go, glory. Go As a gun. full-grown man, you'd never expect to be kidnapped. No, no, <laughs> like, sure not. especially a big guy like that's Gavin. Like that's statue. out. That's not in the cards. Okay, you know? Yeah, are are they thinking, what are me? they doing with me? Yeah. I was Driving like crazy, going left. Right. I was like, these guys are trying to get away, and they're getting away fast. <laughs> As we just, were, we're like mm. doing like eight miles per hour around the block, bro. We were laughing so hard. Oh, I wish I could have heard your laughs and known it was you guys. I had no clue. So bad, so bad. Oh man, what'd you guys think I was doing in there? Or you guys just like, oh, he's probably. Uh, I mean, I could hear you. I could hear you. Ah, boom, God, boom, God, boom, God, 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 boom. God. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> boom, 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 Tony! <laughs> boom, 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 Kevin! Dude, the, at any point during I knew it was a prank. <laughs> at, I knew it was a setup. I, I knew it was I a did, setup. Any point during it, were you guys like, this is too far? Or no. Just the minute it. that the, the door the moment, shut, uh -huh. and I heard you scream, yeah. I was like, oh shit, this might be too far. We were gonna <laughs> drive around a little further and like really get you going, but then like we in the in the you know Ben was driving, I was with her with him in there, and I was like, we gotta fucking call this. No, man. you guys did it per perfect stop. timing. My heart was perfect pace. <laughs> I wish we had a heart rate monitor on you, man. I bet oh, you would have been at like two fifty. Oh, she was bumping when we like told you. Then yeah, that three wheel is yours. You were like, oh great, I'm just happy I'm not kidding. <laughs> <laughs> three wheeler was just a little cherry on yeah, top. You didn't even care about that at the time. You I thought your no life was so many exactly. emotions. And then I got the three wheeler. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, that was good. Yeah, we've got both of you guys pretty good. Yep. Well, at least when you get pranked, you're getting something at the end of it. <laughs> That's Thank you true. Yeah, yeah, I'd say, <laughs> I'd say both pranks ended up pretty good for you guys. They did. Yeah, why do all the pranks you guys do on me suck? It's just like normally like burying my Hummer in a snowbank. Well, we're trying to do you a favor there. <laughs> yeah, we're trying to get you to not be able to drive that thing anymore. Finally got up on the pole. Putting Ken's Bronco on the pole was I think really underrated for it like It was. It how was. how well executed it was. And then also, like, the stakes of oh, it. Man. Ken was so mad. But he, like, didn't give but us the But the problem reaction. is he just, kept re he just kept repeating, get my Bronco down now. <laughs> and he'd just look at us, and we'd be like, you can't. He was surprised, but, like, we've almost gone so far with Ken. Is like, it's not even a surprise anymore. Yeah, he's just annoyed. He's yeah. Like, he's just inconvenienced. Yeah. It's like, my car's going to be up there for a week. <laughs> uh. <laughs> 
<laughs> when he came back in my truck, I legit thought he was going to hit me. <laughs> I might have planted the seed in Ken's head. I said, Ken, don't don't be so mad. Maybe you just hop in Ben's truck and go park it in the pond. <laughs> that would have been great. That would have been. That would've, if Ken jumped that, drove that bitch into the pond at that speed... Born it, it looked like that time we jumped the fusion into Mark's pond. Yep. Remember that, Justin I mean, in the driver's seat when the airbag goes off? He's like, <laughs> <laughs> Ken is like when he gets pranked and he gets so mad, he gets so flustered and can't like think. can't think and like can't like operate. Like his motor functions almost like give out because he's so just filled with anger. <laughs> Oh man, um, he's been a good sport through it all, though. Yeah, that's has. for sure. Yeah, no, off, for what, sure. If you guys ever like non-video pranks, what's like a prank? I feel like you two had to prank each other when you guys were kids. Oh, I mean, one time CJ convinced you that I got sent off to boys' camp when oh. I just went up north with my dad for a weekend. But that it was one after sucked. pranked you good. Oh. There. It, was, it was after me, Ryan, and my friend Sam got caught sneaking out. What about that time uh, when we did the woman in white? I, oh, the woman in white. That was that one was someone great. dressed up in white. So me and CJ live or lived, I guess, our parents, um, I don't know, like 20 houses down from each other. And so we would always be hanging out at each other's house and then it would get late and then you'd have to like walk or bike or dirt bike home at night. And it was like through the woods, over this hill, pitch dark. I think you probably came <laughs> up with like the woman in white. Well, I saw a scary movie and it reminded me. It looked just like uh, the road that we would ride on, and it's mm. just so dark, you know. And I was just like, man, that'd yeah, be worst case. Scary. The woman in white was the only thing you could think about going Between back and forth, right? And then we became friends with you guys, and like the the you know the tale was like, yeah, this this woman, she lived out in this. In this old farmhouse husband passed away and like nobody ever sees her the only time she comes out is at night and she wears like a white gown and I, you guys believed it because we were mm -hmm. so convincing classic and then one night we had our friend dress up in a full white gown i think we have a picture pop, a girl, up, yeah. pop up yeah. the picture of it and Looks then like exactly scary, throw exactly like the girl in the ringer the face yeah it was, it was yeah. so or, creepy the ring or the ring sorry not the, the ring ringer. Johnny Knoxville. <laughs> that's a great movie too uh in the ring when she climbs out of the tv so like right as you crest this hill the like lights came down on her and jake was driving i'm so yeah. glad jake didn't swerve and hit her yeah because i knew that was a possibility so i told her i was like if he might try to swerve so and like hit you so be ready to go into the woods like stay on the edge here one time we did this prank we were picking up uh, Ben's older brother and his girlfriend <laughs> uh, and bringing them to the sandbar. And we were just delivering them on the boat, but we were on our friend's boat. And oh my God. Uh, we were making brats at the time. Like we, you know, like some big juicy, like, you know, filled with cheddar filled, cheddar -filled, -filled brats. Yeah. brats. And we made note that it looked like a penis, you know, and we were all joking around about it because we we're in the seventh, eighth grade. So anyways, we come up with this idea. We're like, okay, when we pick them up, you should have it like kind of hanging out the top of your <laughs> your pants, like your waistbanding it, and like whatever. And we picked them up, and it it was so uncomfortable because neither of them said anything, and it I don't think Ben's older brother saw it, but I know for a fact his girlfriend did it. His girlfriend at the time, because she legit went like, "Thanks, Matt." <laughs> like eyeballed down like i think like three or four times and like walked up and it was such a weird vibe after that like we all went home because we're like fuck that was fucked up like <laughs> like it was like it was too much like i thought for some reason we were gonna get in trouble yeah that one was messed up one time cj had a friend coming over and so brats we were again like, man <laughs> why why we love those things we're just like hey come over to uh matt's house and then we're, we like set him up in his room we're down in matt's room just come on down and then me and CJ hid, and Matt was sitting in his room watching porn. Oh, my God. Not actually watching it. Not actually watching, but then he had the brat. Brat you know? and lotion. It's so funny. And then, like, this dude opens up the door, and he walks in. I'm Matt. You know, this, I'm like, Matt. and he's got this, like, fucking big brat for a seventh grader to have, you know. And, like, he thought, <laughs> he thought, like, he was actually jerking off, and it was, like, his first time meeting him. And oh my it was just, just a great prank. That's really, I mean, life has not changed around here. If anything, the stakes have just gotten bigger. We've been doing this shit since we were 12. Or man. one time when I brought uh, some friends over that Matt had never met, and he was in the shower. And we had him, like, 
like act like they were sleeping in his room <laughs> and then uh and then he like never seen him before so he like opens up the door and there's these like two guys like he had bunk beds one guy on the top one on the bottom turns on the lights like whoa who the fuck are you and he's naked and then uh and then the dude like pops up, he's like what's up i'm brady and then he's just like what are you doing in my bed he's like Patty said I could stay here, your aunt. And like, he's like, what the fuck? Like, I didn't, no one told me. And like, I don't know. That one was funny if oh you had to be there. Maybe God. cut that one. But no, yeah, no, we did no, so many. That was hilarious. We're sitting in the closet. <laughs> just trying not to. Yeah, that was funny too. Man, I have so many. I can't even think of all of them. I remember when I first showed up here the first day and I'm just talking to uh, Ben and CJ and they're like, yeah. Ryan's getting ready to maybe leave the group. I was like, whoa. What? what? I haven't heard this one. So, yeah, I'm just showing up. They're like, yeah. His girlfriend's a preschool teacher and wants him to join her. He, he wants to go teach at the preschool maybe. I was like, what are you guys talking about? <laughs> yeah, his Camaro's too fast apparently for her. He's got to get rid of that. The priest is on the way. And I'm sitting, I don't know Ryan that well. I was like, oh, they're being serious. Like, what's going on? Why is Ryan doing this? Like, and then it came out to me. And they never told me the truth. I never figured oh, really? out. The well, whole also, though, you would always leave whenever Gavin would get here. And you were like, what's the deal? Like, why is Ryan always exactly. like, go? Uh-huh. And we're like, well, he doesn't like you. Yeah, and I believed it for a long yeah, time. Yeah, he doesn't like you. You know, he's a, you're a, a certain teacher. type of uh, politics. Politics. Yeah. Uh, yeah. A certain yeah. way. Yeah. And that yeah. you're against rednecks. And yep. Yep. you didn't want to be around. There was a lot of things him. that we told you, Gavin, that <laughs> later that night we went, oh, man. You should probably straighten yeah, these we, out. Yeah, we, I was we, like, we, I never well, you were buying everything. You were well, buying yeah, everything. I was just we just trying to watch everything it. I said to Ryan now. I was like, oh, what, what's Ryan think now if I say something bad oh about rednecks or something? You know what I'm saying? I was like, Ryan, a little soft. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> it, didn't, it didn't turn out to be. Then the other thing that got me was the, uh, I feel so stupid, the lake sharks. <laughs> oh, classic. I, I there were sharks in the lake. That one. It was so painful to watch. Sharks in the lake, I just guys. sat there. Evan can't play into any of these. I think we could sell sand at a beach. Yeah, you guys <laughs> probably could. You could have sold me anything that first night. Yeah, you guys were telling me, yeah, there's there's lake sharks up there. If they come up, you'll fill them on your toe. And just Ryan's like, yeah, just punch it in the face and I'll go with. Oh, okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a lot of times when we meet someone, very quickly we'll catch on how gullible they are mm-hmm. and then we'll just yeah Not like I was destroy gullible. their trust at times though i think we take it too far like, for sure like <laughs> yeah i think we yeah, realized sure. with gavin we were taking it too far that's mm-hmm. when we called it off we're like you know ryan's not actually uh leaving leaving and become and, a you know teacher. he's not actually getting a prius he you know all these worried. things yeah, <laughs> he was, Every, and everything we would say to Gavin, he would just give us the best reaction, which is why you what? keep doing it. You go, <gasps> no, don't tell me that. Don't tell me that. Don't tell me that. No, Ryan, no, no way. Should Ryan. I talk to him? <laughs> go for it, man. But he's too far gone. I wouldn't. Yeah, I probably won't. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you have to be. You have to be on your toes with you guys, because if you're not. You never know. You never know what's gonna happen. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You might get. Jammed up. Well, made the, oh, made a, a, a severe victim of me and CJ's <laughs> trolling. Yeah. yeah. I thought you guys were going to mess with me when I we got up We don't do here. it nearly as bad anymore. We, we used to just, well, that's we, all we do. We just troll people. And I feel like then people just didn't take us seriously anymore because you never knew if we were messing with you or not. But we were so good at selling yeah. it. Yeah, we have had beach. to earn back a Some lot trust. of people's trust. And still, I mean, literally daily, I'll say something and CJ will just agree with me. And then all the rest of the guys will just be like, bullshit. <laughs> and we're like, what, what are you talking about? Yeah. Why would I lie about this? And they go, I don't know. And this is Ken. I don't know. Why would you? <laughs> yeah. Like, you expect like me to mirror, crack man. It's like a mirror. Just deflects it right back at right you. Right back at you. Yeah. No, we've had some good times. We started channeling that, that creative energy into other things. It's just so fun, though. It is so it is fun, fun dude. man. Got me fired up thinking about it. There was just nothing else to do back then. Really tra- set us up well to do this. Yeah, it was good Honestly, training. Training, good training. Yeah, because we're just like putting in your reps, your whole childhood for this. Yeah. So last night I was sleeping. It was like one thirty in the morning, and I woke up to the loudest beep I've ever heard in my entire life. Beep. And it was the carbon monoxide going off in my room. Oh. And but it was just one beep. And it wakes me up <laughs> and it wakes Greta up. And I'm like, what was that? And then I look up and it's like beeping red. And then Greta's like, you should go and check on that. And I'm like, check, check on what? She's like, that. Make sure it's like 
we're not going to die. And I was like, okay, well, what do I check? <laughs> so I like go out and I'm walking around my house, make sure my truck's not running. <laughs> Wasn't. <laughs> Forgot to turn it off. <laughs> yeah. Go and see if the oven's on. Not sure if that had anything to do with it. Wasn't. Go downstairs. I'm walking around downstairs and I'm like, God damn, where's my like homeowner handbook? <laughs> like, yeah, what do you, you check? Check my furnace. Checked out. Looked like a furnace. Looked, looked, at it. looked yeah, like a looked furnace. At it. And I like go back into my room and I'm like, damn. Well, at least I tried. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> to this moment, I still don't know exactly what it was. I'm assuming it was batteries being that I woke up this morning, which was good. But it was a serious concern. And I was like rolling around for the next hour thinking about weaking. it. Yeah, I was I was so nervous. I would have just cracked a window or something. I did. I went. Okay, oh, I yeah. wouldn't open a door, but it was so cold. And I was like, yeah, "That's ah, not worth it." That's <laughs> <laughs> not. Dude, die. there's nothing worse than being spooked when you're home alone. A house isn't that scary when there's other people there. Like you have friends over, it's nothing. Or if your girlfriend's with you, but man, that one night that you got to sleep alone, yeah. that's when the noises are the loudest. I agree. And it's the weirdest. You always thought you'd get over it as you got older, but you really don't. No, dude, it's it's just as bad. I no. still run up the stairs, and like as soon as I turn off the lights, like running up from downstairs, <laughs> I can't look back, and I feel like somebody's gonna grab me, chasing really? you. Yeah, uh, you don't feel that? I mean, yeah, I guess I do. Mm. I'm surprised that you feel that. There's always weird noises going around at the shop here. I don't know what what it is. Yeah, it's Evan, Mike late at night. Well, yeah, honestly, it's Mike, it's Mike pissing his bed right above. You. No, that's what I think it might be, Mike. But then there's no one else here. Oh man, honestly though, Evan Evan's probably in the most likelihood of spot <laughs> for someone to break in. Oh, yeah, being oh, disturbed. You know, in his sleep. you know what I'm saying? Like realistically, like you could have a, a pissed off viewer who do you or think Ken you could have pissed off that bad? I mean, you could piss someone off. I mean, there's Wait, plenty of reasons vehicles. why you could piss someone <laughs> off, but. Uh, People get mad easily. They just don't like us in general. They show up here to That's actually do something. why we have Evan stay here. He's like a guard dog for the shop. Yeah, we know you'd Rottweiler. fight him. Oh, Rottweiler. <laughs> Ready to attack. No, that's why we have security cameras. No, yeah, we got this place on lock. But, uh, yeah, I do, I do wonder about that a lot. And I think about that for, like, you know, like, real celebrities and, like, the privacy. Yeah, it's even higher stakes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because then you actually have, like, stalkers and shit, especially if you're a good-looking girl. That would yeah. suck. That would be terrifying real big celebrities they have like you know a gate with actual security 24 7 at it like, really yeah dude they just sit like at their like it's a little thing and making clearing everyone coming through and it's not uncommon at all there's there's one youtuber like roman atwood he had a stalker yeah he has full security he was also like a hacker and got into like all of his like bank accounts and oh my gosh. phone records and like a serious stalker and that was because of his i think he was like obsessed with his wife Mm, classic yeah he was off after some but it, no, what an inconvenience you got to pay a full security team for your house 24 7 like Dude. it's just an expense that you'll never get back that, that would suck yeah no privacy yeah either. you're always got people there yeah and if i've ever watched a single action movie those security teams do nothing they crumble <laughs> That's true. No problem. They never work together. They attack one at a time. It makes yeah. No it's, sense. it's always so frustrating. The bad guys are always a bad shot, too. <laughs> Michael, what's up, buddy? <laughs> How you doing? All right. I got a video to show you guys. Oh. So to preface this, uh, it's about Gavin. This is like a football video, but it's about Gavin. So picture Gavin is on his three-wheeler, and he crashes, but we're filming a video, and he crashes early in the video, and we really need him. But he just busted himself. Oh boy! But he's I've a, never seen that happen in real life. Yeah, he's a tough. Three times. He's a tough kid. <laughs> Let's see it. I can't believe that you made it all of yesterday without crashing. I thought for sure you were. You were so on the verge of crashing at all times. I was like, it's gonna, it's, it's coming, it's coming. It's coming. But you just were so good of rider now. Thank you. I'm proud I appreciate of you, dude. That man. I'm proud so, of you. So X Games 2024, Gavin's gonna be the first three wheeler. And, and the freestyle. Might be the only one. <laughs> might be the only one is right, Mike. <laughs> okay, Gavin, so you're Matthew Stafford. You just took a digger on your three-wheel. Let's see it. Stafford takes the snap, sets in the pocket, rolls left. This is going to be it. He's got to get rid of it. Stafford sets, looks, now running back to his right. Stafford looking for somewhere to go, sets and throws. Oh! <laughs> right Ow, dude. And it's is that what I look like after hitting the stairs? <laughs> <laughs> that is you. Oh my God.
Ah, oh, poor fella, dude. Did he fire a get the fuck off me in there? Yeah, yeah he yeah. did. Okay. I can throw the ball if you need me to throw the ball. It's totally you. I can throw the ball if you need me to throw the ball. He goes back in. Let's no do, way. Let's go, baby. He throws a tutty? Yeah. Legend, it's dude. Like Gavin, like, finally clearing the jump, but you have, like, a broken wrist the whole time. So. <laughs> I can hit the jump if you need me to. No, Gavin, it's fine. No. We don't need you to hit I'm the jump. No one speed. needs you to hit the jump. <laughs> I'll, I'll do it. I can do it. I lost faith in Gavin's jumping capabilities when he bodied himself off of the trailer jump. Can we just pop that oh, clip up? You guys want to watch it? That was it, a funny it's ass It's hard clip, to man. watch, but... This was just the rowdiest entry. Oh, oh my God! Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh Dude, man. That was bad. You all right? I, I'm all right. I don't know how I took that one so well. Yeah, you are built so incredibly well. Thank you. I appreciate that. You're what? a Honda. Yeah, what's the line? Built to last. Built to last. Built yeah, to last. he's built, built to last, last for yeah. sure, yeah. man. Who said he's... I need to get a VIN card right here now, huh? Yeah, I think you should, Gab. You got a couple tattoos, but get another one. Get a VIN, yep. Right built there. to last, yeah, Honda. <sighs> What would your VIN number be? You've gotten bodied so many times. So bad. Have you ever thought about changing your middle name to Honda? Uh, m probably Trike, but yeah, maybe trike. Honda. Gavin Trike. Gavin Trike, yeah. <laughs> no, that was probably like the gnarliest fall I've taken on a wheeler, though. That was a battle. Actually. I feel like that one wasn't as bad as like the when you get rolled over. Oh, yeah, you guys saw me it. hitting the field. What would you think about me hitting the field, Ben? I still don't know what was going on. <laughs> I was... Testing the field capabilities, bro. <laughs> so it didn't didn't pass. <laughs> didn't check it out. Pass. <laughs> Pop that one up. Go to go to that video in his in his uh, on his feed. Sorry, Mike. But yeah, I don't know what we were doing there. <laughs> Nothing good. I was just wanting to see how hot I could come in on the two fifty R. Figured that out. Gavin's still doing testing. They concluded testing in nineteen eighty nine. Uh huh. About three wheelers, but Gavin's still testing I mean, just to keep really going do up. his keep due diligence. Up. Oh. My oh, God. God. <laughs> like that was pretty bad. You could have got bit on that one. I can think, Seth. I yeah. know. Look at me wearing that helmet still, though. That helmet has saved my life. I'm just trying to figure out what the plan was. There wasn't supposed to be a hill there, but the hill was there. Yeah, I would say the plan was probably not to crash. Yeah, the hill. Sure. It's normally did, a Did open you field. check? Maybe took like a slow cruise through that. Grass, oh, no. We walked through. We walked right through there. Missed that part. Well, we saw that part, but I still hit that part. Yeah. Gavin, I, we laugh, we joke, but as long as. You are okay. Please, please be careful. Thank you, baby. We don't want you to get hurt, brother. Having fun. No matter what. Yeah, I know. It's all in having fun, but just please don't. Hot gotta yoga here and there. Got to risk it for the biscuit, right? Well, right Ev. You do make me nervous, though. Evan does similar caliber stuff, probably crazier stuff. Yeah. But he's so talented Correct. and lucky and just like. <laughs> lucky, lucky. That is, uh, there's more luck than talent. I'd you. say talent for sure. Are you kidding me? So where are you putting me at on that yeah, scale? Like, but Evan is you? such a little bowling ball. He can just like, it's just like, just rolling them down. Uh-huh. And he'll just take How a little pounds? tumble. What do you get with me? You are, you're like a turkey. That <laughs> you're like a, you're like a ham on Thanksgiving that... Got thrown in the back of the truck, but the tail <laughs> box, the uh, box didn't get shut, so they're ripping down the highway, and the ham falls out the back of the truck, and it just gets tumbled down the highway. You know that's unbelievably accurate. Like, I, <laughs> hey, as long as he keeps rolling, he's probably gonna live, man. You gotta keep, it's, it's, dude. Crashing never hurt anybody. It's what co it's coming to a dead stop that hurts you. You gotta roll, baby. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Uh, okay. There, there might be <laughs> crashing some. never hurt nobody. <laughs> There might Gavin be Carson. some truth in that. I don't know if there's much, but... I think the real quote of that is speed. Speed, yeah. Speed, yeah. but I mean crashing, yeah. too, yeah. I guess. I oh. just I just want you to be careful, and Evan, too. Just please be careful. We probably won't, but hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if we were careful, we wouldn't be here. <laughs> Damn right. That's a good point. But as long as you can keep coming back here, that is the most important thing. There's, there's a fine line. In life. Very good. Very good point. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Ride that line, baby. Yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> I do want to talk a little bit about our Vikings. Ugh. And it's been a tough year for us. It is football season. And uh, I think being a Minnesota sports fan is hard. You're lucky you got Colorado. I think maybe the baseball team's decent. But I, I think the Broncos are considered pretty good. <laughs> oh. Who's the Broncos, dude? We only have the C Buffs in Colorado now. Dude, that's oh, and sick. them too. Gosh, yeah, what do you that's think about that? Sick. Like oh, Deion killer. Sanders, Shadur, Dude. all them. Oh, they're awesome. Yeah, hopefully. Have you met them? No, but I uh, 
took the O line coach fishing a couple weeks ago. So really? Oh, this this fishing's killer. Let's let's get coach out here. So How'd you get lined up with him? My my football coach from my linebacker coach is good buddies with him. No oh, way. Yeah, so big, you guys all went fishing. Uh huh. But yeah, and then he's like, oh, this fishing's killer. Hopefully, get Coach Prime out here next summer or something. Oh yeah, that'd be sick, huh? Now that would be that'd cool. be yeah. cool. You hang with Prime. Yeah, yeah. I wonder if Prime's a three wheeler guy. I know he's a fishing guy, so we're yeah, halfway there. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, halfway there. He's a legend, man. Is there a correlation between three wheelers and fishing? Oh, there has to be something there, man. Look at me. <laughs> <laughs> I think everybody loves three wheelers, man. Exactly. Everybody's redneck fishing. correlation. Exactly. So it ties it together. Yeah. So speaking of football players and boats. You guys remember the Vikings love boat yeah. scandal? Yeah. yeah. Can you imagine yeah. being I, on that boat? No. What? I mean, I, I can't imagine myself, but yeah. Well, they just got I caught. I'm pretty sure they do that. Some people. They just got caught. You know, they, I love that. They, that. That stuff goes down every weekend on the lake like that. They just got caught. Yeah, let me see this. Pull up the article. It's, or I want to see the story. Classic oh. little jam up. That's <laughs> freaking. Nothing that won't buff on it. It was back in 2005 when football was football, and there was no rough in the past or, you know, and stuff like um, that. On October 6, 2005, an alleged sex party occurred on Lake Minnetonka. Unbelievable. Dante Culpepper. But yeah, uh, they apparently like rented two boats, and uh, they just flew in prostitutes from Atlanta and Florida. Actual and prostitutes, or were they just girls? Uh, They're from Atlanta. They, they, it was said that they were sex workers. One guy estimated there was 100 women there. Wow. women for 17 football players? Two boats? Pretty decent numbers, honestly. That's a, that's a pretty, good, uh, pretty good ratio. An yeah. anonymous former player of the Minnesota Vikings claimed that this is not the first time that such an incident has oh, yeah. happened. The scandal has sometimes been referred to as the love the boat, boat scandal. scandal. Like, wow. It's nice to see that the Vikings can at least catch the news. Every once in a while. Can't catch a fucking pass. Yeah, I can't catch a fucking pass. But uh, it, it, they got in trouble for peeing in some lady's yard, apparently. Yeah, I was wondering. That's Wait, fine. so how big of a boat you got to have? I believe they were on two boats. And they didn't think anyone was going to notice they're on the lake? They were houseboats. Maybe they were behind closed doors. They two, house, two houseboats were rented and some... But not all of the players perform sexual acts. How do they know that? In front oh, of, oh. Of, the, of the crew members. In front of they were probably, so they had man. rental drivers. Not all of them. <laughs> not, but some of them did. <laughs> some of them did. Not all of them, but some of them did. I don't know what's worse in that scenario, being the watcher or being the guy. I feel like it's being the watcher. Unless you went to a different part of the boat and removed yourself from the debauchery. Well, it sounds looks. like you're a worker, man. You can't go anywhere. You're trying to drive Imagine the boat. Imagine piloting a boat with a hundred whores running around. <laughs> and what are you doing? Banging the Minnesota <laughs> Vikings. Put that bitch on cruise control. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm Evan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who's, aren't you supposed to be driving the boat right now? Yeah. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> it's actually on the Titanic happened. I was just going to say, they'll be making a documentary about that. In a few more years. <laughs> oh my I can't God. believe we live in a world now where, where your scandals get their own Wikipedia page. That's actually impressive. Like this, I don't know and name, people. dude. Yeah, it's like, that's what I mean. There's a full Wikipedia write-up, and then it just goes, parties involved, and it just gives their name and a full description of them. Like, full description. Just, I mean, yeah. Does sound like a party. <laughs> <laughs> do you have a Wikipedia app? Look up. See, see think, if dude Evan Bro has a Wikipedia. I don't think I do. We have a, I've uh, looked at the Seaboys uh, one, and I'm the name that doesn't have a clickable link. Really? Yeah, I, I never made a Wikipedia. Just some... I don't even know how you make a Wikipedia. <laughs> we just got one. one of those sponsor? That's fucking old. If you type Our it, neighbors. Oh, Ooh, here we go. What is this? It's going to make me pay to view this shit. Yeah, it does. Well, oh, the majority of kids these second. days hit the slopes. Evan, Evan Sheft opts for a pair of skis. Ooh, tasteful. Unbelievable. They're not any old pair of skis, however, and the skiing is anything but old school. Let me see. I think there's Let's a... Go. Damn, have you been making the news for a while? <laughs> what was that? 2008, it said? He hey, found Jeff. so much success that he'll take his skills to Colorado? Yeah, we go. Were same place, same time. Didn't know it. <laughs> Damn right. Jeez. Unbelievable. If you type in Shred 80, one of the first things that was coming up for me a couple weeks ago is, who's Shred 80's sister? <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look, up, look that up. Oh. Shred 80 sister net worth. <laughs> wow. Mike, you got anything to say today? You've been awfully quiet back there. Uh, Gavin, thanks for being here. Uh, 
three wheelers. Let's go. <laughs> yup. <laughs> three wheelers, uh, baby. I do have more to say. I love you guys. Oh, uh-huh. thanks, and Mike. You worked very hard. Um, we didn't post a video this week, which was very difficult for us to like kind of come to terms with. We're working on some big projects, and like it's been a long time since we skipped a Thursday. So this is an interesting uh, vibe around here, but we got big things yeah. that we're working on. Mm-hmm. And uh, so stay tuned for that in the vids. Thanks for listening to the podcast. Sounds good. We'll see you guys next week. See you next week. <laughs>